As you've been telling our audience, a lot of information coming out of this very newsy news conference here inside the Diagnostic Treatment Center here at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Of new cases statewide, Governor DeSantis said that one of them involved a 56 year old man from Miami Dade County who had recently traveled to Iran. Now, the governor, taking a look at some video here, was inside JMH with Miami Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez. Jimenez himself announced that some senior centers had been closed earlier in the day. He also announced that uh, the Miami Dade Youth Fair and Miami Open Tennis Tournament would not be held, along with a number of other events that had been canceled. Now, the governor announced a plan to deal with five very specific areas. One, involving steps to protect those most vulnerable to the coronavirus, among them the elderly and those with underlying two involve the increasing of our testing capabilities statewide. DeSantis spoke about this, as we see right here. But I've directed uh, Director Jared Moskowitz with our emergency uh, operations center to purchase 2,500 commercially available testing kits. So we're receiving those this weekend, um, and the testing kits will give qualified labs throughout the state the process or the capacity to process tests for up to 625,000 individuals. Now, the governor stressed a number of social distancing measures in these uh, items he was talking about. He talked about protecting health care workers, taking important steps to uh, protect them, and also monitoring travel, specifically limiting over the next 30 days travel that state employees would do. He was very concerned about that. Among other cancellations, you just heard Maribel noted that uh, MLS. Uh, has canceled uh, the opening soccer game of uh, Miami's team, the long-awaited first game up in Fort Lauderdale at the former Lockhart Stadium. Again, many details coming out of this news conference, much more on this tonight on CBS 4 News. The details all day on our website, cbsmiami.com. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Maribel.